So, in a little bit of a different turn of events, with this save, I went ahead and started the recording before I booked out a show, and the reason is because something changed, something was a little bit different, and it isn't that the banks are closing in on Wham!, because I also, I don't believe we got an email. Yeah, we didn't get an email yet from saying that we're going to, yeah, that Wham is going to be going out of business shortly. But Yoshi Pro and Wham are both fighting, faltering, and struggling when it comes to staying, keeping themselves afloat and keeping themselves in business. And hopefully the uh NA the North American Wrestling Alliance will also struggle because I took one of their top stars. And I realize that that makes me sound like Vince McMahon as far as, you know, being ruthless and looking out for my business instead of looking out for the business. But We've kept things concurrent and concrete for the last X amount of time, so it's not, you know, it's not a big deal. But the day before, King of the Squared Circle, the wrestling world was shaken to its core because of this. Because at one point, the most talked about relationship in wrestling, going back four years ago, with Athena and Sid Streets when it was revealed that Athena was not only dating Sid Streets, but engaged to be married, Athena was, uh, Athena's father was feuding with the Streets family, the Streets of Rage. And who knew that the feud would reach such, deep -seated, such a deep-seated avenue, especially now considering the fact that Athena is a record-setting championship holder as the woman's champion holding it all through 1982 and into 1983, continuing her feud with Kimberly Evans. But now let's see who hates who and what exactly happened. As we have a cheating divorce, Athena and Sid Streets have divorced when the former was caught with Luis Montero. Now, I don't know... To be fair, I don't know how much of the blame should be cast on Athena. You know, I don't know how much of the blame should be cast on Athena if this was Sid, this is how Sid is handling himself outside of the wrestling business. He was married to Athena, but also engaged to somebody outside of the wrestling business while still being married to Athena. So I'm a little confused by that. You know, I'm a little confused how he could be married and Athena cheating is what causes the divorce, not him being engaged to someone else. You know, that's the part that I don't understand. But let's move forward and see what happens first. Sid and Luis Montero hate each other. Dusty and Athena hate each other. Dusty and Luis Montero hate each other. Rocky and Athena hate each other. Rocky and Luis Montero hate each other. Kyle Kennedy, who I believe... I believe Kyle is in Harlem. It would help if I chose... Yes, Crooked Kyle Kennedy is in Harlem. He is one of the people that I've thought about bringing in, but... He's loyal to Harlem, so really doesn't make sense to. Kyle Kennedy also hates Luis Montero. Mr. Noro also hates both Luis Montero and Athena. So now my question is, Athena's contract's up in a year. Luis's contract's up in two. Dusty's contract's up in two. Rocky's contract's up in 52 days, and Rocky's already annoyed 
So now the question is, what happens with Rocky Streets? Where does Rocky Streets actually... Like, is there some sort of a refusal where people don't want Rocky to come back? Because they hate him. You know, the shitty thing is, or the struggling thing is, I've been pushing Luis Montero for the last two years. Athena's the premier athlete in the women's division, and now the struggle is Dusty and Rocky are both still here, and I had every intention of bringing Sid back by the time or within the range of Sid. You know, within the range of Sid coming back, I had every intention of Sid coming back. But now the question is, I don't know if Sid actually comes back. You know, I don't know if Sid actually comes back because... I still don't want to get rid of Luis Montero or Athena because they are my premier. They are two people that I want to build a company around for the future. Especially considering the fact that Luis Montero, in my opinion, is better than Sid. And has a brighter future than the kid. Than Sid the kid did. But this definitely does throw a monkey wrench into the plans. And begs the question, what the hell? Because it is 100% not what I was expecting. And 100% something I thought was worth sharing outside of a video. So, I mean, the best thing I can say is, let me know in the comment section below, if you're somebody who plays TEW and does Let's Plays like me, what is the craziest thing in the most unexpected sight you've seen? Sort of like one of those cheating divorces that you've seen in your time playing the game. Because this is one I didn't expect. And, un and the God's honest truth is, it is something that I am extremely disappointed by. Because I expected something else, something more from these guys than a cheating scandal. I don't know what to do. I, I mean, do I stick with the plans? Do I send them away? I don't know what to do as far as the situation is concerned. Right now, I'm going to stick with what I, what I had planned to deal with it once people's contracts are up. But the other problem is Rocky Streets doesn't exactly have a crap ton of people that he likes. If anything, Rocky Streets has a lot more people that he dislikes than he likes. You know, because Sid, he likes, but Sid is in Burning Hammer. Richard, Richard Eason is our owner. Baron Von Rumbus is dead. Rudolph Gray is already here. Charlie Homicide is already here. Vincent Morris is somebody I would rather not bring back. You know, so it's like, I... I, I I mean, I know it's something that I don't necessarily need to address right now, but, like, even with this, Dusty's loyal to me, because Ken Cullen is my avatar, and Mr. Noro, Mr. Noro's not going anywhere, but it's also the same thing, Mr. Noro's contract's up in a couple months, too, or in a short period of time, too, 35 days, so now Noro, the question is with him, is it going to be a struggle to sign him back, too? You know, is it going to be a struggle to get him back too because of Athena and Luis Montero? So, I, I, you know, I genuinely don't know what to do here. If anybody has any bit of advice that, can they, that, that they can pass along, feel free to let me know. And the best way to go about this, because I still am going to and I still anticipate keeping with the plans and pushing Luis Montero to the top of the card. You know, I genuinely do feel that that is the right thing to do.
but I I just don't know what's next. And Ron Steele was actually a part of when Don Juan Martinez and Melissa Monroe had their affair when Melissa Monroe was cheating on Preston Holt, I believe it would have been. But my question is, why does he hate her if he doesn't have a relationship with Preston Holt? So, I don't really know. But my point is, this isn't something I was expecting, and it also is something that I'm not extremely happy about. But once again, if you want to see more unique cut-ins like this, let me know down in the comment section below. I want to say thank you again for the support on the recent uh, Let's Plays with TEW. You guys seem to really enjoy it. And if you want to see more like this, where it's not just the show and me going through the creative process, and more of the behind-the-scenes stuff of how I get to where I'm going, let me know down in the comment section below. Or again, as usual, show it with the views. With that being said, that is it for me, and I will see you in the next one.